So here we're going to look at another example of solving a trig equation by completing the square. So we've got 5 cosine theta minus sine squared theta equals 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into an, an equation involving only cosine theta. And recall there's the identity that uh, sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. So equivalently that would say that sine squared theta equals 1 minus cosine squared theta. So again, we're just using an identity for the sine squared, that it's 1 minus cosine squared. And now we've got an equation uh, that involves only cosines. So this is now what I'm going to start working on. So if we distribute the negative, we'll get 5 cosine theta minus 1 plus cosine squared theta equals 1. So this to me, again, looks like a quadratic equation. So I'm going to just sort of uh, reorder it. I'm going to put this cosine squared theta first. We've got a positive 5 cosine theta, so I'm going to write that next. Um, we've got negative 1 on the left and a positive 1 on the right. If we subtract the 1, we'll actually have negative 2 equals 0. So again, you know, you can try uh, factoring this out. I don't see the, how it's going to work uh, real nicely. So now we'll just use the quadratic formula. So instead of, again, just instead of having just x squared, we've got cosine theta squared. So we'll say cosine theta equals, so we'll just do our negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over to a, but again we get these values just like normal, so we do negative b, b is the, uh, will be the positive 5, uh, so again then we take b squared minus 4 times a, well the coefficient on the cosine squared is just a 1, and then times the c value, uh, which is going to be negative 2, all over 2 times a, which again is 1, so now we get to uh, simplify this a little bit. We've got negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 25. We've got negative 4 times a negative 2. That'll give us a positive 8 all over 2. Okay, so we keep simplifying here. That's negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 33 over 2. All right, so now let's think about these values. So what we're trying to solve now, correspondingly, we're trying to solve the equations cosine theta equals, well, negative 5 plus the square root of 33 over 2. And we're also trying to solve the equation cosine theta equals negative 5 minus the square root of 33 over 2. But let's, uh, let's maybe approximate uh, here a little bit. So I'm going to uh, approximate the square root of 33. So let's see, the square root of 33, I'm getting that to be roughly equal to, we'll round it to 5.7. Uh, I'll go to three decimal places. So 7, 4, 5 is what I'm getting when I round off. Um, so that's one equation. The other will be cosine theta equals negative 5 minus 5.745 over 2. But let's actually look at the second equation first. If you think about this equation, um, so this is going to be cosine theta equals what? I guess negative 10.745 over 2. Um, you know, that's roughly equal to what? I guess negative 5? Uh, a little more than negative 5. I guess let's do it exactly. So uh, 10.745 divided by 2. Uh, so this says cosine of theta would have to equal negative 5.3725. But recall, cosine of anything cosine of anything is in between positive 1 and negative 1. That's the range of cosine. So there's simply no value that you can plug in to, you know, there's nothing that you can let theta equal so that cosine of that will equal negative 5.3725. So this equation simply has no solutions. Alright, well, let's look at the other one. 
If we think about cosine theta equals negative 5 plus 5.745 equals 2, this one is going to have a solution. So we'll take negative 5 plus 5, which will just give us uh, 0 0.745 over 2. And again, if we uh, simplify this, we'll get uh, that 0.45 over 2 was what? Uh, 0 0.3725. And this is within the range of cosine. This is a number between positive 1 and negative 1. So this equation does, in fact, have solutions. All right, so we're kind of whittling it down here. Uh, all these equations just turn into more, but, you know, simplified equations. So now, really, the problem has reduced to solving cosine theta equals 0 0.3725. And again, we were looking for, for uh, solutions between 0 and pi, or excuse me, 0 and 2 pi. So one, uh, you know, sort of revolution around the unit circle. Well, let's see. Recall that cosine is positive um, in the first quadrant and also in the fourth quadrant. So there's going to be two solutions that work here. And what I'm going to do to find them is I'm just going to take the inverse cosine of both sides and uh, just use a calculator. So we'll take the inverse cosine of both sides. So inverse cosine. We'll take the inverse cosine. <coughs> so let me check and see what this is real quick. So I'm getting uh, so 0 0.37, 0 0.3725. I'm going to use the inverse cosine of that. Um, I've got this in radians right now. This is roughly equal to 68.13. Excuse me, I don't know if this. I've got it in degrees. I don't know if I said radians or degrees. This was uh, the solution in uh, degrees. And let's do radians. I think that's typically more often what you see um, in calculus classes. It seems like you just deal with radians more. So equivalently, that'll be 1.19 uh, radians. All right, so that's one of our solutions. And what we're finding in that case is we're finding the angle uh, in the first quadrant that works. Okay, so 68.13 degrees or uh, 1.19 radians also uh, would work equivalently. So to find the other two solutions in quadrant 4, remember we would simply have to take 360 degrees, which would be one revolution, but backtrack 68.13 degrees, or equivalently uh, we would have to go around 2 pi radians but then subtract away the 1.19 uh, radians that we've already traveled. So um, let's, uh, I don't know, I'll leave that to you to simplify. How about that? So that's how you would get the, the two solutions in this case. Um, again, all you're doing is just taking, uh, in this case, you're doing the inverse cosine. Uh, you're finding the stuff in quadrant one that works. And you know all you have to do then is just think, well, cosine is also positive in quadrant four. Uh, what are we going to do? Well, one trip around is 360. You'd have to subtract that uh, angle, 68.13 degrees. And equivalently, again, if you go all the way around, that'll be 2 pi. Subtract the 1.19 radians, and that's how you'll get the second solution.